Good evening and welcome to the 10 p.m. news. Today's story covers an ongoing defoe between an entitled Karen and an innocent person. One hour ago, a man named Dave Jackson has been harassed by an entitled Karen over accidentally destroying her phone that she got for as little as $1,100. The innocent person said that he didn't do it on purpose as he wasn't paying that much attention, and he almost accidentally broke her phone when he was walking. Luckily, Karen's phone was impacted with a small damage, but still, Karen has been harassing that man. So Karen has been harassing him and she was about to call the police, meanwhile, he was trying to defend himself by telling the truth and perhaps apologizing. But he failed as Karen beats him up and causes a fuss about her phone that was impacted with a small damage. More information will be provided to you by Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Now anyways, we are at his house right now, where this entire incident was happened. We have several eyewitnesses, and we also have Dave Jackson, who is being an antagonist. So Dave, what details do you have to provide? It was not like a longer time ago when I was walking as I was focusing on something due to my business, and according to the CCTV footages, Karen accidentally dropped her phone at a smallish distance, where I walked a few steps until I reached at the same spot her phone was. I almost stepped at her phone that a small damage was occurred, and that's number one. And number two, when I was convincing her that it was an accident and that I apologized a few times, but she insisted that I was doing it on purpose, even though it's obvious. And she also kicked me so bad my leg was hurt for a period of- Jordan, I would like to let you know that I'll be running some errands for a few minutes. And you better not misbehave again, otherwise, you will be grounded. Understood? Yes, Mom. Good. Anyway, I gotta go now. See you later. See you too, Mom. I mean, come on, for goodness sake. It's just a small damage, so why would you make a deal about it? All right, let's get down to business. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing with my car? Give me the car right now. Okay. What do you think you're playing at? That's my car, and there's no way I'm giving it. Plus, no wonder why you came up to me and slapped me in the face. You stole my car and now you are saying that this car is yours? Too bad, now, give me the car right now or else I'm gonna call the police. Oh, isn't it you, Karen? Yes, isn't it obvious? There's no way I'm handing my car to somebody I don't even know, because that's my car, and it has been registered by my name in it, and plus, you're getting it way too far for slapping me in the face. You're gonna regret it for saying that this is your car. Would you like me to fight you, you see now old imbecile? Oh so you're beginning it, huh? Well, too bad, so sad, you're not gonna get my car, because this is mine, you stupid imbecile. Oh so you wanna fight then, huh? Very well then, because I'm gonna fight you for this. Oh no you don't. No. going on now. What in the world? That Karen is going to regret this. How dare she do that? Oh no, a very angry kid. Yeah, that's what you deserve. Ow, 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 ow. You are going to regret this, angry kid. Oh no, what just happened? Excuse me, but what's going on in here? Police officer. Thank you a lot for coming. I would like to report a woman and an angry kid trying to steal my belongings. Actually, I saw the whole thing when you and Fernand were fighting over a car, and before that, you went ahead to her and tried to steal her car. All of this is total bullcrap. 
She tried to steal my car when she beat me up, hence that's why I am restoring my car, and you came here to arrest her, aren't you? Karen McCarrenson, I am putting you under arrest under the suspicion of attempted theft. You have the right to remain silent, but it may harm your defense if not mentioned when questioned about something which you may rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given as an evidence and against you in the court of law, and you have the right to an attorney, if you cannot afford an attorney, the court will assign one for you. Got it? Hey, put those handcuffs off of me. Let's go to the police car right now. Fernand, what just happened? Oh no nothing, but let's just say that Karen beat me up, so I did. Let's all head back home right now. Hello, this is Paul Richardson speaking. What? One of our staff workers has been beat up by a Karen? What happened exactly? I'm afraid so. Speaking of what happened, apparently Karen was walking until she saw a car, so she intended to steal her car, and yep, she slapped her in the face, and thus they had a fight, but surprisingly her son, Jordan, came here and beat Karen up. The police said that there will be an interrogation at 7.30 a.m. between Karen and Fernand. I cannot say that I'm surprised. I am actually surprised when I have learned that Fernand was hurting until that Karen had to do it all. Not only that, but the police said that there will be a court hearing tomorrow morning at 6, and the police officer herself said that she is staying here until the court hearing. Well I hope that Karen meets her punishment for what she did. Attempted theft is as worse as stealing. Why would she do that if she already have a car? No wonder why she did that, and speaking of why, well, I don't know what has crossed her line, but she already have a car, but wanted to steal one for her husband or something. This is something that should be dealt with very easily. Maybe she did it to annoy her or I don't know why she was intended to do it. I am running some other errands followed by making sure that Fernand is okay, and so with Jordan. I gotta go for a moment, see you. Mom, what happened? That Karen, attempted to steal my car until we beat ourselves up, and Jordan, just proceeded to beat Karen. I knew that must be a Karen case or something. This is coming out of hand because of this. Someone must be at the door. Fernand, I'm just here to check if you are currently fine. I'm fine right now, it's just me who is hurting from all of this. Do you have any idea if Jordan is harmed because of this? He isn't harmed or anything. Alright, that's a relief. I gotta go now, see you. Well, that's a relief. Tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m., it was time for the interrogation. Alright Karen, it's time for you to explain about the incident that happened yesterday. Why did you attempt to steal her car? Because I don't have one, so that's why. Haha, <laughs> I doubt it, because you have one, and the last time I have seen yours was when I was working and passed by your house. So, tell me the truth, why did you do it? My car was given away. Ha ha, I doubt it, because I don't think the government would take away your car unless you did something bad, and the person who passed by your house five days before the incident confirmed me that the car wasn't given away, so, tell me the truth right now, or else. Alright alright, fine, you won, but not always. I did it because that Fernand, who I beat her up yesterday, have destroyed my car alongside of some of her family members like Linda and Justin, and even her husband, so that's why I have decided it's time to revenge as I was about to tell them to pay for the damages, 
but I have assumed they would refuse and they gotta tell me that I deserve it, so it's a revenge, and that's why. Okay, I have gathered all of the information I am able to get from you. Thanks for this. Meanwhile, later on. Good thing I wasn't badly injured. Oh well, let's just enjoy the rest of the day, and... This is the police. Open the door right now. We are only here to discuss about what happened yesterday. Alright, you all may come in. Alright, now that we are inside of the house, it's time to discuss about what happened. So, what happened exactly? It all started when I was running some errands, then I suddenly heard that Karen screamed at me, and that's when she came ahead and slapped me in the face, thus me fighting with her, but Jordan came here to beat her up, and that's where I was rushed away from them, and then I was sent home WTH injury and slap signs in my face, so that's what happened. But she said that you damaged and destroyed her car. She said that you, alongside of Justin, Linda, and your husband, destroyed her car before this incident. Is this true? I can confirm to you that this isn't true. Me, Justin, Linda, and my husband, Richard, did not even come to her car and destroy it. What are you guys talking about? We are making sure that everything she said is true, so, do you confirm that the fact that you and your family members except for Jordan destroyed her car is false? Yes, I do. Even you can go ahead and check on her car to see. Alright, that's all we needed. Thanks for telling us everything that we can gather. Have a nice day ahead. So I'm guessing what Karen said isn't true, isn't it? Yep, I think it is. So that Karen must be lying to us then. Very well then, because we'll be punish her for this. Yep. Also, we have scheduled a court session tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m., so we'll notify Karen about this, then we'll send her to jail until then. Alright then, that's a good idea. Later. Karen McCarrenson, after we have heard the other side of this story, we have determined that they did not destroy your car. What? I can confirm to you that Fernand is lying to you all. I was walking on my way home when I saw that the car crash and they left a note saying, Take this Karen, this is what you deserve. Regards from Fernand, Justin, Linda, and Richard. I'm sorry, but I have no other option but to send you to jail. We have scheduled a court case tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. What? That's not fair. I don't deserve this kind of treatment. That Fernand is seriously gonna regret this. I'm sorry, but maybe you should have thought about that before you tried to stole Fernand's car and beat her up about it. You deserve the beating you got from Jordan though. Jackson, send her to her cell please. On it, sir. Hey, don't touch me with your dirty hands. Leave me right now or else. Karen, it's time for you to go to your cell, so here we go. The next day, and at 7.30 a.m. Alright audience, please be quiet for a moment. Court is now in session. Today, we gather to address about what happened two days ago. Will the witness come up to the stand please? Alright. Mr. Richard Smith, would you like to explain about what happened? Thank you, your honor. So, my wife was out to run some errands in her car when Karen came up to her and tried to steal her car, and so, they got beat up, and Jordan for some reason came up to her and beat her up. That car over was staying at its place, and her driver's license remained in her pocket. The details I want to say is that Fernand was beaten up so bad she was hurting, but not so severe. But Jordan made her nose bleed a bit with worse hurting. That's all I can say. Alright, thank you Mr. Smith for providing what happened. What? That's not true your honor. Fernand stole my car and that's why I came up to her. I'm sorry, Karen but that's not true. Police officers have confirmed yesterday that your car hasn't been touched by anyone except you as you barely use your car nowadays, and the driver's license remained in your pocket for a long time and almost untouched. 
I can confirm to you that this is just some utter bullcrap, that women should have given me the car anyway, besides, I don't even know why Jordan beat me up, oh well, I guess it's my fault because I made Jordan hate me, I bought all of this on myself. Karen McCarrenson, as much as I have no issue with taking your stolen car, but beating her up followed by attempting to steal her car? What are you talking about? Well, you wanted to steal something that belongs to her even though you already have one, and also, beating her up. However, beating her up isn't really our concern. And so what? I do it all the time. Besides, I just want to cause some drama seeing as I'm bored even though I wanted to steal her car. Mrs. Karen McCarrenson, are you aware that it's against the law to attempt to steal? This is also called as attempted theft. Oh, I don't care about that. Besides, I just wanted to cause some drama for fun, no matter whenever I want to steal the car or not. Well, let's hear what the jurors have to say about this. I plead guilty for what she did. I plead guilty as well. I plead guilty. Guilty. Well, the court and the jurors find you guilty for what you did, and so, you will be receiving a charge for attempted theft in an amount greater than $1,200, as well as four years imprisonment, plus an extra $500 fine for beating an innocent person so bad, so that's the total of $1,700 fine you're paying, bail is set to at least $7,000. And I expect the payment three days or less after the release, and if you don't pay that fine, you will be imprisoned for two extra years in jail, this also applies when you are bailed as well, three days or less otherwise you will serve two extra years of imprisonment. What? That's not fair, that women should attend these punishments instead. I'm sorry, but you should have thought about that before attempting to steal Fernand's car and beat her up so badly she was injured with a few scratches you've made to her face. Officer, take her away please. On it, sir. Hey, leave me alone you disgusting prick. You guys are gonna regret this. Come on Karen, let's go to your cell right now. Alright Karen, this is your cell and you will be staying here for the duration assigned by the court. Ugh, this is so ridiculous. All of you just wait till I get revenge on all of you. I should expect some kind of treatment that's more special than anything, not time in jail, like, I need to be respected and be called the queen, not a disgraceful treatment like I'm getting here. And besides, I want to cause some drama and this is what I want, and little did she know that even though I want her car, just wanted to come up with a bang. She really needs to accept that I want to run with her car and have it on my home, not beat up, and also, that Fernand needs to understand that I want to run with her car and keep it up for me and cause some drama. I should have went ahead and punched her, stole her key, and ran. I should have already waited till midnight that I can manage to steal her key and then the car while everybody is sleeping. And, I should have went ahead and trick her and disguise myself as a car repair or something, or a car wash, and then try to steal her key in a way, or spray her for until she is unconscious for 5 seconds or so, and then went ahead, fire up the car, and ran with it. One of these three methods should have done anyway, but oh well, it's time that I deal with it. I hate staying in jail, all you do is to be slaved to stay here and when it's lunchtime, they give you disgusting food, and you have to sleep in those uncomfortable beds and you have to use a toilet while not covered, like what is this, I should expect a luxury jail that feels like a house with TV and all of that kind of stuff, and a 5 star food, and a bathroom in a separate room, not this kind of junk here. Well maybe I should do something about it to escape without having to wait till lunchtime, Lunchtime begins at 7.30 a.m. and right now, it's 6 a.m. and I can't wait one hour and a half till lunchtime, and besides, everything in this jail is so strong and all I got is a plastic fork, it will take me forever to have to scratch the wall until there is an opening that fits your size. You know what, maybe I'll have to wait one hour and a half anyway for lunchtime. An hour and a half later. This is the food that you'll be eating. What type of junk is this? 
I need a five star food right now. Well too bad, this is the food that you will be eating, and that's final. Now, eat this food right now, humbly and without having to complain further about it. Those police officers don't know what is the meaning of serving a five star food, because these police officers either don't have money so they serve these junk foods to poor prisoners, or because that they have enough money but they are either greedy or wanting to save their money, or that they are just blind, not caring about us. Poor prisoners. Like what type of treatment is this, I need a better treatment that I should deserve. Not a junk treatment like this that I am getting right now. I need something to do so that I can escape this junk prison. What should I do? Wait, I have an idea. I am going to do something that'll help me escape prison. I am going to wait for the guards to come in and pass by me, and then I will make him get me to the closet in a way that looks like if I am missing something in the closet, and he'll get me there. And when we get there, I hit him in a way he's unconscious, I then take his clothes and dress up as if I am a police officer, and then get out. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I am just going to pretend like nothing is fishy, and I'll wait for the guards to come and pass by me. Um, how can I help you? Ah. Uh, Guard. Thank you a lot for coming. I forgot something in the janitor's closet and I want you to send me there, pretty please? Hum. Sure, but what are you exactly looking for? A plain old mop. Okay, is that so? Well then follow me. So, where is the mop? Oh, here it is. What a gwillable guard. Aside from that, time to dress up. Okay, now time to escape. Huh? What just happened? Why am I wearing casual clothes? I'm not supposed to be wearing this. Even though the police outfit is war on top of this clothing I'm wearing right now, but still, whatever happened? Hey, huh? Just passing around here, nothing to see through. Nothing fishy around here, is it? A few minutes later, Why are the majority of the taxis are taking way too long or that they ignore me? This is getting ridiculous, like why do they have to do this? This is bad and untolerated, it needs to be stopped, and I should make a formal complaint about this. Finally, someone stopped for me. So, where are you going to? 944 Mr. McFarland Street, 4th Block. Okay. On it. So, you must be Karen, right? Yeah, like nobody is born without knowing that. Why are you asking me? Are you here to give me some disgraceful treatment or something? Oh no nothing, just wanting to know. And no, I am not gonna give you disgraceful treatment. But in return, I shouldn't expect any trouble from you. Got it? Yep, I got it. Good. Now, let's continue our trip. Later, when they arrive. Alright, that'll be $13.99. Alright, here you go, and thanks. Alright, time that I rest for a bit, and... Hello, who is this? Husband? Yep, what else do you know, 
your enemy or something? Oh no no husband, nothing else. So, how's your Bahamas trip? Overall great, but despite many people treating me like crap, I asked for a cheap typewriter decoration that the cost is supposed to be $5, but they made it $10 instead, and I made a complaint as a tourist and things were bad, as well as that there was an old middle-aged lady who was rude to me just because that there was a little pen that I bought for $2, that pen's working like any other, but that rude lady was rude to me because I didn't know any better and wrote on a piece of paper that's special. I bought the same thing too and I brought a book having the same paper so that I can write thing on it. That rude lady was lucky because I wrote on her excess paper. But she was so angry and she even called me names. And so I worsened things up and I said that I didn't know that that was her paper the entire time. And this is where people gathered here. That lady's name is Jennifer. She's 55 years old and she lives in the same city as we are. Albeit of her living in a different street and she lives in the western wing. There are plenty of other people who were treating me like crap as well. I cannot say I'm surprised. That lady is the one who needs to respect herself and need to stop it, and that cheap typewriter decoration should cost as is, not ten dollars, and I'm sorry for you for how many people treat her you like crap. You should deserve some kind of treatment like me. Yeah, I agree, and I shouldn't be treated like this. I know, right? I say forget about it unless we're planning for a revenge, which, I don't think we're doing, so, just forget about it. I will eventually be coming back at any time soon. Also, I have heard about what you did with that Fernand. And I would like to say that this was disgraceful that the government had to go against you in every possible way, like, come on. I know right, husband. Speaking of your return, I will be waiting for you, husband. Maybe we'll plan on something or spend time annoying people online in Discord or something. I'm just gonna go ahead and do something as I'm annoyed and don't ask about whether I escape prison or not. I escape prison because, you have to be slave to sit there and do nothing and all you have is measly a toilet where you can use the toilet, uncovered, like come on, where is privacy? Don't these people know how to respect others' privacy? And all they serve is basically junk food, not five-star food. And you have to sleep in these uncomfortable beds. I happen to agree with you in every possible thing you say. Now anyway, I don't think there's anything else we can discuss about. So, see you later, for now. See you later, husband. Maybe I'll watch some TV at the moment, and then annoy people on Discord and perhaps have him message me in case if I want to annoy people online and then I'll go on my computer to do something in it. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Plotagon Annual QA competition brought to you by MyCard Incorporated. We are looking forward to see who will win the grand prize of $152,000 provided to you by our sponsor, MyCard Incorporated, and if you want that, please submit your request by calling one 888 ptg QNAC, or emailing us at qnacompetition at plotagonquest.com. Oh really? Yes, you have heard it right. And you could be one of the 55 winners from May 15th to July 12th. All you have to do is to answer the questions and you're done. Our quest will be open 24-7 during this period, so don't hesitate to stay up late for it. Plus, you'll get some additional prizes, such as a PlayStation 5, or additional $50,000, as well as an iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is 100% real, not scam. We are never here to scam. Oh wow. I never thought that that would be a real deal, not the scammy ones that I might get there. Here are some of the people of this year that got their prices. Hello, I'm Dave, and I'm here to prove to y'all that this isn't a scam just in case, if anybody has a doubt. I have gotten $152,000 from winning this quest, and I have gotten an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and I want to say that if you want that and so much more, you can join this quest and answer all of the questions. And thanks to MyCard Incorporated for associating with MasterCard, as I have withdrawn this grand press. That's all I have to say. Greetings, I am a florist from Plotagon City, my name is Jackson, and I'm here to say something about this quest. 
I have gotten that grand price of $152,000, plus an additional $50,000, and an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I am using my card for my debit card, and they gave me $202,000 for me as a result, and I have gotten my iPhone from someone next door leaving it for me. That's all I have to say. Hi everyone, my name is Wayne, and I'm here to address about what I've got from that quest. I have gotten $152,000 as well as a trip from Canada that I have scheduled for next month. This isn't a scam. They're never here to scam anyone. They give those prices free during this period. I wanna clarify, I have joined the previous quest and they had the same grand price that I have right now, but they came back, but even better. That's it for what I wanted to say. Thanks to Dave, Jackson, and Wayne for addressing what they've got from us. Now anyways, let's start with our first contestant, Linda Jane Smith. Yes, yes, this is the real competition, not the scammy ones. I am super excited to join this quest so that I can get that grand price of 152 grand, I am looking forward to be rich. And those additional prices such as an iPhone 14 Pro Max is even nicer in my opinion. I am going to join this quest, and try to get these prices. I am going to email them and wait for some time, if even a day, to respond to me. Well, maybe I'll go to the computer room or email them through phone or something, um, what should I use? Maybe the computer room should do the trick. Oh come on, Windows 11 computer, just, start up fast already. Ugh. Alright, the computer is on. Alrighty then, it's about time that we begin this journey. Well, do we need to explain how to go to the Gmail inbox of yours, huh? Well pretty straightforward alright? Alright, it's time that we do this. Their email is qnacompetition at plotagoncontest.com, and my subject should be, request to join this quest. And my message goes as follows, Dear Plotagon Quest staff, I would like to join this quest please, and I would also want to either associate, affiliate with, or use my debit card from my card incorporated for me to withdraw this awesome price. And I would also like to have some updates regarding my quest approval as well as other updates regarding new quests and or other updates regarding my quest as well as some updates to Plotagon Quest in general. Thanks in advance. Best regards. Karen McCarrenson. Alright, this is done. I should get a notification on my phone or computer, it doesn't matter, but all it matters for me is the approval of my quest joining. Now, it's time that I enjoy while my request gets a response. Meanwhile. I'm not here to complain about this car's speed. I'm going to complain about those stupid people who are driving in the road. These people don't even accept that this is a free country and all I want is to do whatever I want. I can run with my car whatever I want, I can commit crimes whatever I want, and I can talk to any male whoever I want and perhaps annoy him, and all people in general, because they're stupider than I thought. Alright, time to catch this imbecile. What the, what in the world? This is the police. Pull up right now. No, I am not going to, because this is a free country and all I want is to do whatever I want, you cannot stop me. Alright, it's about time that we do this the hard way. We can't leave this imbecile alone. I know, right. Now, let's catch him. Unit 134 to Unit 122. This car is heading to 544 St. Louis Street, block 2 to 5. At 135 kilometers per hour. Well, if that's the case, then we need to hurry. Wait, what's that? Time to get even more faster, you marvels. Jordan, what happened? I think it's that Kevin who runs in his car and get chased by the police. 
Do you have any idea about will he crush on our house or something? I don't know for sure, but let's just wait and let time pass. Huh? What's happening? Grr, you imbeciles cannot chase after me. Huh? What is happening? Unit 132 to Unit 144. We are trying to chase him in the location you have mentioned, but we are failing and failing as he's going faster. But don't worry, we are going much faster so we can chase him. Send the other units now, over. Come on faster, for our own good. On it, sir. What the, they're running faster this time, and they're also sending other units to chase me. Well I don't wanna be chased like this, let's go faster this time. Alright, me and some of the other units got this. What's going on in here? Kevin speeds up the car, and now he's chased by the police. Wait, you mean, Karen's wife? That imbecile who tried to stole my car and beat me up already has a husband? Well I hope that Kevin gets arrested. Grah. I don't wanna be chased. Well you are the one who is speeding, so that's what we're doing. Well I guess I have no option but to do this. Now Kevin is aggressively turning left and right quickly. And now the police is even more serious this time. You guys are not gonna chase me ever again. What in the world? The brake just broke, and it's all because of something strong just hit the brake for it to break. What the? Oh no no, no, no no. What the? Fire, fire, fire. Please call the fire department right now. What the? The kitchen is on fire, and three quarters of the basement is almost destroyed. Don't worry, we'll be turning the fire off right now. Karen Arthur McCarrenson, you are under arrest under the suspicion of speeding and causing damage to one of the properties. Before you say anything, let me read to you your rights. You are under arrest, you have the right to remain silent, Anything you do say may be given as evidence against you in the court of law, you have the right to an attorney and have him present while you're questioning, if you cannot afford an attorney and want one, one will be appointed for you, and if you want to answer questions now without the lawyer present you will still have the right to stop answering at any time, you also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to an attorney. Do you understand these rights? Yes, I understand my rights. Good. Now, let's go. Meanwhile. Jordan, are you kidding me? You could have just stayed away as you were told, but no, you have decided not to just because that you were told to cut the grass. Ugh, come on mom, you don't have to be like that. I didn't feel like cutting the grass in the first place, because there are better things for me to do rather than cutting the grasses. Besides, I didn't beat Karen up to defend you, but I hate Karen so much I don't approve her beating anyone, so she gets what she deserves. At least you didn't get harmed from this incident. Besides, I told you to cut the grass, because the grass was so long we couldn't walk on it. Plus, you have almost damaged the lawnmower and the streamers all because of your stupidity. You didn't want to cut grass so that you can go ahead and watch TV, are you serious? Now, let's begin this off with answering the questions. Question 1, which person has got the highest ranks for becoming a good lawyer? A. Kevin McCarthy B. John McDonald C. James Loud Or D. Michael Moore Hmm, I think I say B, which is John McDonald. Is this your final answer? Yes. I'm sorry, but that's the wrong answer. Now Linda, do you have an answer to this question? My answer to this is C, which is James Loud. Is that your final answer? Yes. That is the correct answer, Linda. Hooray! Hey, this is unfair. B is the right answer and I should get a point for me, not for Linda. I'm sorry, but you have answered incorrectly, so Linda gets a point. Maybe you should get more points than Linda and you'll win the grand prize anyway. Disgraceful treatment, I shouldn't deserve this type of treatment and I should get all points. 
that peasant shouldn't get any points anyway because I am a respected individual and I should get whatever I want. I won't tell you this again, you get more points that's even greater than what Linda has and then you'll still win the grand prize anyway. I don't care, she doesn't deserve to get any points and I deserve all points and I should get whatever I want. That peasant should lose and she also needs to respect me and she needs to accept the fact that I am Karen McCarrenson, I am a respected individual, and I get whatever I want and I am entitled for everything I want. That's it Karen, you are now disqualified from this game. What? I don't deserve this type of treatment, you can't disqualify me you peasant, you should be taught to respect every entitled and respected Karen like me. I'm sorry. But you should have thought about that before you made a fuss about Linda getting measly a point. Now, get out, right now. Well she gets what she deserves. Yeah, I agree. Now let's continue where we left off. Meanwhile, with Karen. Disgraceful witch. Little did she know that I am a respected individual and I get whatever I want. What does that witch think she is, disrespecting me and disqualifying me like that? Oh well, let's see what other people should I annoy next. I should mention that I will get that prize from Linda, because she will probably gonna get that grand prize soon. Hey, excuse me. Just what do you think you're doing? Okay ma'am, can you please explain to me what did I do? You came here to harass me, are you? Okay, I was walking and I wasn't looking at you, so, you must be misunderstood very easily. Liar liar pants on fire you imbecile. Your intention is to look at me and harass me. Okay, madam. If we are treating with intentions, then I wasn't intended to even touch you, look at you or something, and I'd get away, so, it's pretty obvious what you're playing at. You touched me and now you are lying, and you are just saying that just to get away with what you did. Madam, I won't tell you again, I walked when you came here to slap me, and it's obvious I wasn't intended to deal with you, but you have made it fun to make me deal with a self-entitled deluded and rude women like yourself. Help me, help me, pretty please everyone, help me, that dirty man tried to approach me and now he is threatening to fire up a gun to kill me. Nice try you liar, I saw him walking somewhere when you approached him, and he wasn't intended to deal with any women, especially a self-entitled and deluded witch like yourself who is enjoying her life annoying people. That's none of your business you peasant, I can make you feel sorry for this. Oh why don't you go find something useful to do you deluded witch. You're just a busy woman, because in reality Karens are not above the law, and Karens are not that special anyway. Even Lizzie is right, you are not special and you are not above the law. You are claiming that because I believe that's how you're raised anyway, and go find something else useful than to annoy me. That's it. You have asked for this. Oh no you don't. You are getting me you imbecile. Hey, get back here right now. No, because I ain't dealing with this. I'm not gonna explain what happened, okay? Hey, get back here you peasant. Where is that imbecile? Um, but what do you mean? Tell me where he is right now otherwise you will be next. I'm sorry, but I won't tell you where he is. Especially if you're gonna beat that innocent guy up. I am not gonna tell you this again. Where is he? I will not tell you where that man is, and it is best to get out right now. You stupid imbeciles are never getting away with this ever again. Get ready to get beat up. Oh look, look who appeared, the women behind our car theft fiasco. Shut your mouth up or he'll be next. No, uh. You are never doing this again. Hey, leave me alone you stupid prick. No, because you're gonna beat those two guys up. Security. Yes, Samir? Please escort Karen out of this establishment. Um, sir? 
Get off me right now, or else you will be next. Karen, get out right now. No, I'm not gonna get out right now. Very well then, it's about time that we do this the hard way. Oh no you. Linda. There we go, you get what you deserve. Now, let's get you out of here. Um, is she gone? Yes, she's gone. Don't worry, you're safe, and I hope this won't happen to you ever again. <sighs> well, that's a relief. Karen continued to annoy innocent people as she was entertaining herself as a revenge from people, and she even continued to cause some trouble against innocent people. She even made most of her situations worse, and she even continued to complain over silly stuff, and even interfering with other people's affairs. Meanwhile, Kevin escaped prison, and he started to cause crimes except not becoming that much of a criminal, like he didn't drink and drive, sneak weapons, etc. As for the family, they have encountered Karen several times during this period of time, and she even worsened as she attempted to steal from Jordan, forcing Linda to put herself in danger, etc. Later. Attention all businessmen, if you want to become richer than Elon Musk, then call 225-996-8877 and get like $1 trillion. What are you waiting for? Call now. Yep, that's likely a scam, right? Do we believe in these advertisements that pop up in most radio stations? Yep, it's a scam, and nobody wants to hear those annoying ads. How he said like makes it so questionable the ad is here for no reason, like how most of the TV and radio stations get money from those annoying paid advertisements? Luckily that was resolved back in 2017, right? Yes, and those have probably arrested because they either use counterfeit money or make you pay. These services and fake courses is probably why they're more expensive than those real ones, which makes it questionable. I know, I... News coverage at 10 p.m. Hi, I'm Jane Richardson with the latest news. Tonight, we continue to follow the story of Kevin McCarrinson, whose recent actions have only deepened his troubles. Earlier today, Kevin McCarrinson was involved in yet another controversial incident, this time at the downtown shopping center. Witnesses report that he engaged in a heated argument with store employees, which escalated to the point where security had to intervene. This marks another public incident in just two weeks, raising concerns among the community about his behavior. Sources close to Kevin Shugas that he has been struggling with personal issues, which may be contributing to his increasingly erratic actions. Law enforcement has confirmed that they are closely monitoring the situation. Kevin McCarrinson has been issued a warning, and authorities are urging him to seek help before things spiral further out of control. To other news now and a local teenager has become an overnight sensation after his latest YouTube video went viral within just one hour of being uploaded. The 16-year-old content creator, who goes by the username TechTeen, shared a video featuring a clever and entertaining tutorial on a trending topic. Within minutes, the video began to rack up thousands of views, and by the end of the hour, it had already crossed the million view mark. The video's success was driven by its rapid spread across social media platforms, where users praised its creativity and informative content. TechTeen, who started his channel just a year ago, has seen a massive surge in subscribers since the video's release. In a brief statement, the young YouTuber expressed his excitement and gratitude to his followers, saying he never expected such a response. The video continues to gain traction and many are now calling Tech Teen a rising star in the online community. Quick update regarding the downtown mall incident, it has been confirmed by multiple sources that Kevin McCarrinson, already at the center of recent and past controversies, is widely regarded as an entitled individual. Those who have interacted with McCarrinson describe him as consistently demanding and self-centered, often expecting special treatment in public settings. This latest confirmation only adds to the concerns surrounding his recent behavior, further painting a picture of someone who struggles with entitlement issues. I'm Jane Richardson and this has been the 10 p.m. news coverage.
sorry for the interruption of our regular talk due to a mandatory news coverage. Now anyways. So Linda, have you checked on what chores should we do? I don't know for sure. Yesterday night, I've been checking on most parts of the house and I don't think we have much chores here. It's okay though, we can make sure that the house is clean, right? Yeah, you're right. I know I'm supposed to cook our lasagna, but guess what I've heard from the news. It's okay though, lasagnas typically take a long time in the oven anyways. Speaking of which, what did you hear from the news? I have heard that Kevin, who is Karen's husband, caused another chaos at the downtown shopping center, where he had to go with heated arguments to workers. I knew it when they said that it was confirmed that Kevin is a self-entitled, deluded imbecile by some sources near him, and that news reporter said that the people who encountered him described him as a self-deluded piece of garbage who demands a special treatment in public places. And I also heard that there was a YouTuber named Tech Teen, whose latest video got over a million views within measly an hour over editorial over a trending topic. I'm assuming that Tech Teen, because of his name, is a teenager, and I'm surprised that Tech Teen got over a million views over this within just an hour. Did he break the YouTube world records or something? Speaking of that imbecile named Kevin, I can't believe that he would be at it again at a town down shopping center. At least we won't encounter any of those two imbeciles again, do we? Oh yeah, I have a hope on this, because we ain't dealing with this again. Hey, you stupid imbeciles, stop right here. What the? You stupid imbecile, look what have you done. You just made me arrested because of you. Even though I escaped prison, but still, I won't forgive you for what you did. Hey, Karen, what are you doing here? Kevin, on with the mails. On Karen. Okay, what is the meaning of all of this? Don't play the innocent card with me you imbecile, I already know what you did. If you forgot, you just made my wife, Karen, get arrested and be slaved to sit there while eating the worst food possible. Well she deserves it because she's the one who began with my wife. Liar, because she is such an innocent wife, she cannot do that. Get ready to get beat up. Yeah, the entire house seems to be clear too. Well, at least our house is clean, isn't it? Yeah, you're probably right. Hey, hold up right now. Karen? Hey hold up, you are not going to do this. You and the rest of your family will be paying the price for what you did to us. Well you deserve everything that happens to you, besides, you brought all of this up on yourself. Now why don't you leave us alone and mind your own business elsewhere, and besides, you're trespassing on our property. And so what, I do it all the time. Get ready to get beat up, for all of the things you guys did to us. If that's the case, then why did you and Karen call the police? That's total bullcrap because you called the police on us for no reason. Says the entitled couple who calls the police yet they say that we did it. Well we did not call the police for no reason. Besides, the police would arrest me if I called on you two for a stupid or no reason. Enough with that and it's about time that you get the punishment. So you want to do this, huh? Very well then, because it's about time that we do this the harder way. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't saw this. Well, you are getting way too far with this. Hey, what's going on here? You are also getting the punishment for beating my wife up.
Well, you're gonna regret it for what you did to me. You're gonna get this and so much more, you imbecile. Ouch! You will surely regret it for doing this. Well, you deserve it and there's so much more to that. Hey, get off me you imbecile. Well no, too bad, and you're gonna get this and so much more. Ah, what a beautiful day outside. Wait, what's happening? Alright, time to see what's going on before I take action. Hey, stop force choking. Hey, Karen. Stop it right now, and you are under arrest. No. Very well then. Unit 134 to Unit 132. I have spotted Karen at Smith's house, and it seems like she is causing trouble again. Send the other units here, over. No you are not doing this. Hey, get off me right now. Well well well, what do we have here, another person who escaped prison? Unit 134 to Unit 132. Quick update, I have spotted Kevin, who escaped prison after when Karen escaped prison, over. Kevin, come to us right now, we're sending you back to jail. No, you're not going to do this. Well too bad, the other units are coming here to deal with you too. Karen and Kevin. Put your hands behind your back right now. You with the males, and I with the females. On it, officer. Hey, get off me, right now. Hey, put your hands behind your back right now, or else. No, I'm not gonna do it, and you can't make me do so. Alright then, it's about time that we do this the hard way. We're gonna deal with him since he's a bit worse than Karen, but either way, these two are difficult to deal with if a single police officer do this. Alright, let's do this. Hey, get off me you disgusting prick. You're not going to do this. Too bad, you two are going to jail, and that's final. Now, let's go. You are going to go to jail you imbecile. You are never going to do this and I'll never ever go to jail ever again. Well too bad. Because you're causing trouble, and because you have escaped prison, you are going back to jail. Hey, get off me you disgusting prick. Ow 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 ow. <laughs> you are going to regret it. Hey. Stop it. Too bad, I know, you're going to jail, and that's final. Now, let's go. What are you looking at? Come on Kevin, let's go to jail. Um, is everything alright? Yes, I'm okay. Linda, Jordan, and Justin, is everything okay? I'm fine dad. Me too. And me too. Well, that's a relief. Alright Karen, and Kevin, this is your cell, and we have appointed a court hearing tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. You know what I am the most angry at? This entire family, always going against us in every possible way. I know right, Karen. This family always getting us in trouble, and always treating us like crap in every possible way. Like what is this? I should expect a special treatment from them, not what we've got here. I know, right? Well, we just have to deal with this until then. Well, I guess so. Tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Alright audience, please quiet down for the moment. Court is now on session.
Today, we have gathered here to discuss about Karen and Kevin's recent trouble, and what we can do about it. Will the witness, Richard, come up to the stand please? Alright, do you have any details about what happened? I was in my house on a peaceful day with my family when I heard Karen coming into our house, and also with Kevin, and they said that we have called the police for no reason even though it isn't true, and I would also like to mention that they have trespassed our property. And the kids have told me that they got beat up by those two, and Karen have decided it would be fun to worsen her things up against her, hence her to escape in prison, if you have already noticed. All right, thank you Mr. Smith. What? This isn't true, I can confirm it to you that Richard is lying to you and is getting me into trouble. Yeah, this is true, your honor, that Richard is lying to you and is trying to get us in trouble. I'm sorry, Karen and Kevin, but what Richard said is true, they were in a peaceful day, and the police confirmed to me that there weren't any calls from any of the family members containing invalid reasons to involve the police. They were valid and it's against you because the two of you basically commit crimes. Well we are eligible to commit crimes whatever we want and that family or anybody for that matter shouldn't call the police on us. Mr. and Mrs. McCarrenson, do you realize that committing crimes is illegal, and also, are you aware that escaping prison is illegal, and are you aware that what you did is also punished by the law for someone who beats up someone while falsely accusing? Well all of this is a total bullcrap, they are the ones who called the police on us anyway. Excuse me, I would like to have my say. Can I? Yes, you can. Alright, do you have a say about what did Karen and Kevin do? First of all, thank you, your honor. Second of all, I was walking in the streets minding my own business when I suddenly found Karen shouting at me and slapping me in the face just because of the fact that I harassed her when I didn't and it's nothing but false accusement. I tried and tried to tell to her the truth but I failed, and she even decided it would be fun to beat me up. Hey, that's not true, your honor, that man thought it would be fun to harass me. Karen, please be quiet and let the man speak. Sorry about that. Um? My name is James. Oh, okay. Now anyways, please continue. She even decided to beat me up, but I didn't bother dealing with it. So I ran and ran as she was chasing me, and I even went to the cafe. And then I did hide there, while she was there until she was escorted out of the establishment and I was relieved. And during when she was in the cafe, she was causing chaos and she worsened the situation a bit. And then, later, I encountered Kevin and he was accusing me of such, and he worsened the situation, and he wanted to beat me, but this time, I was actually beat up so violently. One of the false accusements that I was accused of was me harassing his wife which isn't true. And then he continued beating me up and caused some chaos and I came out of this injured. But now my injury decreased so much, and the rest of the areas that hurt me will be cured thanks to the medicine I've been using. Now, that's all I've got. Alright, Mr. James, thank you for addressing your encounters and what happened, and no problem. Well, it seems like that you are the one who not only false accused him of harassing you, but also you tried to beat him up, yet you are the one who harassed him. And your husband was worse, he accused him many bad things that he didn't do and he beat him up so violently, yet he's the one who also harasses him too. No, this isn't true, this is false accusation, you know. Well, Karen, let's first hear the jurors first to know whether you're guilty, or not. I plead guilty for all of the things that she did. I plead guilty. 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 And I plead guilty as a juror. Well, the court and the jurors find you guilty for all of the things that you did, and so, you will be charged for trespassing on someone's property and chaos you and Kevin caused in an amount to greater than $2,000, as well as 7 years imprisonment, plus an extra $1,200 for beating a person up and harassing that person, so that's a total of $3,200 fine you and your husband will pay, 
bail is set to $10,000. And I expect a payment from any neighbor, or anybody associated with you two, or you two for that matter, two days after released or bailed. What? That's not fair. Those people should attend these punishments, not me. I'm sorry, but you should have thought about that before you caused all of this trouble. Officers, take her away please. On it, sir. On it, sir. Hey, leave us alone you disgusting pricks. Too bad, you were going to jail, and that's final. Now, let's go. All right, case dismissed. Hooray, finally, and good riddance. Finally, no more of this anymore, jail she teach a lesson. I say we can go to the Plata Pizza place for a quick celebration, should we? Yes. And we won't be dealing with her anymore, do we? Yes, we won't. Also, I don't think Jordan has misbehaved during that time then till now, so I think Jordan would be with us, do you agree? Oh, of course, Jordan would deserve a little treatment, because he didn't at least misbehave even for once. I know, right. Also, do you think Karen will escape prison again? Well, I think so. She usually finds ways to escape prison. Yeah, I know right. But I hope that she won't escape prison again. Do you hope that too? Yeah, I hope this too. Now, let's go. Alright Karen, and Kevin, this is your cell, and you'll be staying here for the duration assigned by the court. Ugh, this is ridiculous, from Fernand getting me to jail, to that man and the entire family going against us and getting us to jail, like what is this, this shouldn't happen, I deserve a special treatment. I know right. These people should respect us in every possible way, not treat us like crap and send us to jail. This is ridiculous. I know, right. These people should pay the price for what they did to us. What should we do? Wait, I've got an idea. I am going to do something that they'll surely regret what they did to us. Oh really? If so, then what is it? When we get out of this junk prison, we will begin this off by targeting that man then the family. We will use stuff that destroys buildings and we will use the boxing gloves. And we will beat that man up so bad and we'll cause chaos, as well as the family. Hey, that's the greatest idea I've ever heard, which paves the way for the other idea. I am going to break into the homes of people that got us in trouble and cause many chaos there. We can also damage and destroy their cars as well. I'm also going to do all of that as well. Not only that, but we'll cause a bigger banger and when we encounter that family, we'll send each one of them to our own jail and we'll torture them, and we'll also almost destroy their house and destroy their car to the point where it is unusable, and we'll also cause some banger against that man as we'll send him to our own jail, and do the same, then cause some other bangers that's chaotic. How does that sound? That sounds like evil revenge to me. We should escape prison again, then we'll do all of that stuff. Yeah. This will surely teach them a lesson. Also, there were a plenty of methods of escaping prison has already memorized or is it boring? Yeah! Also, when do you think we'll escape prison again? I don't know, exactly. I haven't been planning much and I am apparently thinking that we'll do that in just three days, but I don't know until I settle on with this schedule. But until then... Get ready for this chaotic trouble within the next upcoming days. Yeah! I'll be up, ready and prepared for this chaotic trouble we're causing. <laughs> 